one, two, three. Just go with the anchor. Not as far as the rating, but just more weight. Up to about 80% of the blade. Controlled aggression on the oar. In. In. That's it, Claire. Right through to the chest. Push for those legs, strongest part of the body, the, the legs. Push for those legs. I always say rowing is the ultimate team event because the sweep can make a mistake and the boat can tip over. A rower can make a mistake and the boat can tip over. If one in the team makes a mistake, you've gone. But what you've got to do is learn from your mistakes. It's the ultimate team sport. Start the kids off right and build on them. Get them fitter and stronger as they get older and improve their technique, get the experience and then go into state and prove that we're just as good as the interstaters. The point of the weekend is uh, uh, to get our youth together. This, uh, it's not a new concept, uh, it's just that we haven't been able to put this sort of thing together uh, in my memory. And I think um, that we, uh, we're definitely the first time this date that we've done such a thing. And uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can build on this uh, youth development uh, in the years to come. I suggested this place because it's awesome flat water to learn to row people who want to pick up technique. And I thought it'd be a good idea to get people from other clubs to come down. The Moana Club, Seacliff Club, Grange, Henley and Brighton Clubs. And we could share experience from other people's coaches and swap and all get to know each other. I'm Brooke, I'm from Moana. Hey going? I'm Josh uh, from Grange under 19s. I'm from Seacliff under 19 crew. With these fellas, Henry Jones. I'm Sam from Moana. I'm James. I'm Dan Murdoch from Henley. Matt. I'm Joseph Obermeyer. Jack Foody from uh, Henley. My name is Evan. I come from Seacliff Life Saving Club. I'm Lucas Rashke. I'm James Shaw. I'm with Seacliff and I'm in the Seacliff Under 19 crew. Hey, I'm Bianca and I'm Stroke for the Henley Under 19 girls crew. Hi, I'm Claire. Um, I'm from the Henley crew. Hey, I'm Tian and I'm from Henley. And I'm in the strikers. Just going back to basics, I guess, in terms of technique. Um, the guys have come a long way today, um, working on slide control, quick hands from the back, and snappy catches. Currently, it's just precising everything. Certainly, the the hands, the body rock, which is the most essential thing. This weekend's about learning and. Um, just taking people to another level from where they are now and trying to do that, trying to accelerate that a bit. We're all fellow lifesavers, we all get on really well together, so that's part of it. We want to go out and compete and be proud to be South Australian. We've got awesome beaches and awesome clubs and awesome rowers and awesome coaches and there's no point why we shouldn't, we shouldn't all get together and share and share what we know and help everyone. Sharing the ideas of how they're, how they're getting to where they are and uh, also a little bit of camaraderie instead of um, being in their own posies and tents on the beach on a given carnival, uh, that they can uh, get up and mingle and, and go and meet the, the people they've uh, had camps with. I think it's a really good idea because then we can, um, I think I've done also to like see everyone else's like, ability but also mix with each other so to get to know each other and also just know that we're all like in the same boat, we can all kind of we all row and we all be mates and everything like that and I reckon it's a good idea. I've been here three or four hours and I think I've already improved my technique so it's good. I think last year our crews didn't say very much to anybody else. They go to back to their tents at carnivals and tend not to have much to do with each other and I know that they do want to interrelate with each other and so this opportunity this year is to, to, to socially meet a lot of people and then build up the, that camaraderie over the course of the year and 
if we don't have these sorts of things, it doesn't tend to happen. So it's it's terrific. I really, I can only endorse it and hope that next year there can be you know 40 or 50 more come along and be fantastic. The mateship that they build, they've got it forever. So if we can lay some good foundations for our youth here and now, uh, it all goes well for them in the future. It's a social thing as well because that's really important for young people.